Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Just wanted to do a, uh, a quick video here just to provide a bit of an update, I guess, on on uh, how we're going with the radio. So just be listen to there, it's 20 meters, so that's uh, 7092 megs. I'll kill it, it's more the point. That's the external speaker. If I disconnect the external speaker, then it defaults back to the internal speaker. Which really is actually not too bad considering the size of it. So let's just have a quick look at the configuration and then uh, I'll uh, look to continue on with the, the transmitter. So um, the dividing wall is now in. So we can see here the, uh, the TR antenna relay there is in place. I've got our, our RF coming in from the antenna. Uh, the normally closed contacts takes the RF through to the bandpass filter on this side here, through the bandpass filter into the uh, antenna amplifier, out of the anten antenna amplifier, then into uh, one of two relays there that, as we saw in a couple of videos back there, are providing that sort of switching network between. Um, or basically turning the, the, the mixers into either product detectors and, and mixers or uh, balance modulators and mixers and vice versa. So uh, if you go back a couple of videos, you'll see that. But uh, that's the story there. Um, you can see now the uh, the microphone amplifiers in place there. Um, and there, there's the microphone amplifier that we looked at in the last video. That's now all in place. Uh, yellow for transmit, orange for receive. Uh, going down to that same little relay there to uh, provide the uh, the functionality for that particular tough three mixer there. Other than that, um, that's all going well. So uh, AF amplifier over here is all in place. I've uh, got that little external speaker with a little miniature speaker there in place. So that's just going to be mounted there nice and firm. Um, and then the microphone, say again, not the microphone, the headphone socket there. I've just utilised a little switching arrangement there. So with the socket out, the speakers in place, put the headphones in and it uh, cuts off the speaker uh, and turns on the uh, turns on the, the headphones. Uh, nothing too much to see on the back half there, so uh, DC up here for the 12 volts, um, the microphone input and the antenna. Uh, the TR switch is in, in place here, so uh, the centre is hot on the 12 volts coming in, uh, obviously receive on this one here and then uh, transmit down to here. And you might not be able to see, or might be able to see down there. There's a little, uh, a little circuit board there with three runs, which are easily the hot, um, the transmit or the receive 12 volts. But like I say, that's all working well now, so I'm happy with that. Uh, don't seem to have any rotary encoder noise, which is great. Uh, that's nice and quiet. So that's the receiver done. So now it's just a matter of uh, shifting my thoughts to uh, the transmit side of the house. Got quite a bit of room there which is good um, and I'm just trying to think now what I'm going to do so either um, I can do one of two things I can either look at the transmitter that was used on the last build so is anything a bit naked there uh, either replicate this one or potentially look at something different for example maybe using a, uh, a push pull amplifier uh, using two uh, two and three oh five threes, perhaps. Um, I'm not quite sure what's the best way of, of doing business there. I've um, got a reasonable amount of room there, so I, I could probably imagine sitting up in here would be the uh, the preamplifier uh, leading down into the the main power amplifier, and then probably sitting transverse across here will be the uh, the low pass filter uh, for 40 meters. So I can sort of see that's probably going to be the arrangement there. Um, I'm pretty sure I can shrink, if I was to, to duplicate this particular circuit here, which is a, an IRF 510 for the final and a couple of two in, uh, uh, 3053s for the driver, uh, I'm pretty sure I could quite easily, I can see there's quite a bit of blank space here, I could shrink that down and have it sitting across here uh, and then have this parent fiber heaps of room to sit in here and like I say sit this one sideways, so uh, I could make that work, but, but like I say I'm just thinking about the idea of using a push-pull amplifier. Anyway, so that's what I want to do. This is just a, uh, a quick update to say that uh, things are going well. Um, Christmas is in a couple of days' time, so I'm not quite sure how much time we'll get to plan it. But all in all, I'm uh, I'm really happy. It's um, it's tight, but it's not it's not too tight. You know, 
there's definitely room to move around in there and uh, I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, um, if I don't get a chance to put another video up between now and Christmas, I'll say uh, a happy holidays or Merry Christmas and a happy new year and all that. And uh, I will look to, like I say, continue working on this and put up a video uh, in due course. Anyway, happy holidays people and uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers all.